Welcome to this episode of The Fig Files. I am your host and fig pig, Stephen Biggs. This is all about how to grow figs and harvest figs in a cold climate. Have you ever wondered about how to harvest more figs in a cold climate or even how to harvest any figs at all? If so, this video is for you. The great news is there's lots of different ways that we can keep figs through the winter and cold climates. You don't need a greenhouse to do it. We'll talk about some different strategies in upcoming videos, but today we'll talk about ways to get more figs. So I think first off the block, we should just talk about getting varieties that are hardy, winter hardy. And if you are planning to keep your fig tree outside for the winter, then this is something that's very important. Some varieties have better cold hardiness than others. Now, this doesn't matter if you're keeping a potted fig tree in a protected space like a garage, but if you are keeping your fig outdoors, whether it's with protection or minimal protection, then do think about cold hardiness. So that's number one. Number two, and, and this is one of the most important things, is to get varieties that ripen early. Because the main challenge in cold climates is just that our season isn't long enough to ripen figs. So there are great varieties that you might find in commercial fig growing regions all around the world. But sometimes they just take longer to mature than we have in our cold climate. So pick varieties that don't take too long to ripen. And I know for me here in Toronto, one that's just consistently good is Ron de Bordeaux. And when I talk to other fig growers around North America and, and in Europe, Ron de Bordeaux is a name that comes up again and again and again. And if you talk to a dozen fig growers, you might come up with a dozen other names. There's lots of early ripening varieties out there, but I throw out that one because in my garden, it is a winner. One other thing to think about too, as we're talking about varieties, so we'll think about varieties that ripen that main crop, that crop that's on the current year's wood that ripen that main crop earlier. But don't forget, there are some varieties that put out a lot of the Breba figs. Those are the figs that grow on wood from the previous season. They'll start ripening late July and ripen into August. So as we're talking about well, how do I ripen more figs in a cold climate? The other thing is grow fig varieties that give a lot of Breba figs. And by the way, we have a whole article about fig varieties for cold climates at foodgardenlife.com. So we talked about number one, picking a variety that has winter hardiness if you're keeping your fig tree outdoors. Number two, get a variety that ripens early. Number three, Think about growing your fig tree as a bush, as opposed to growing it as a tree. And the reason for this is that in a bush, you can fit in more branches usually. So more branches means more figs. But the other thing to think about with a bush is that it's like fig insurance. Because if you have a tree that's tall, it's well above the ground, there's more chance of winter dieback on a bigger tree. Whereas with the bush, there's more branches, they're lower to the ground, so more chance, maybe some of them will be insulated by snow. So more chance that in an exceptionally cold winter, if there's dieback, that you, more chance that you'll have some branches that make it through. So that is number three. Number four, when it comes to getting more figs in a cold climate is to wake your fig trees up early. So remember, our limiting factor to our fig harvest is just that our season isn't long enough. So start earlier, make it longer by starting earlier. And this is a great strategy for somebody who has space, like a sunroom or a screened in porch, where there's a little bit, there's extra heat in the spring to wake that plant up. But there's also protection if you get a, a frosty night. So that's one way to do it. Now, if you're dealing with fig trees that are growing in the ground, then you might want to think about removing some of that winter insulation that you've put on them and, and allowing them to warm up. Now, of course, the challenge always is, well, what if we get really cold weather? When that fig tree hasn't started to grow yet, it can take frost. Once it starts to grow, though, and there's tender little shoots or little figs coming out, then it can't. 
So whatever you're doing, if you're waking your fig tree up early, just think about, well, what can I do to protect it if we do get cold weather? I've known people who make just a temporary greenhouse in the spring out of something like vapor barrier and plywood. Very simple construction, but lots of different ways you can do this. If you're growing something like a low cordon fig that's close to the ground, you could put old window panes over top and make a temporary cold frame-like structure over that fig. So, so far we've got fig tree varieties that are winter hardy. We've got varieties that ripen early. We've got growing a bush as opposed to a tree. And we've got getting an early start in the spring. Now, the other thing that you can do in a cold climate is pinch the tips of the shoots after you get a few figs forming. So here in Toronto, when I get three, four, five figs on a branch, I'll just pinch the end of that shoot tip because I know that if I get more figs in that, they won't ripen for me in my climate here. So why let the plant spend energy on making more figs when I'd rather that the plant have energy go towards ripening what's already there? So you can pinch those tips. All right, so tip number six is think about heat. So the more heat there is, the more quickly your figs will ripen. And remember, speed is important when we're growing figs in a cold climate because our season just isn't long enough. So when I'm talking about heat, I'm talking about doing things like putting potted figs somewhere that's really hot, the hottest spot in your yard or on your property. So think of a, a black asphalt driveway in the summertime. It gets really nice and hot there. Or think of a space beside a south-facing brick wall. That brick wall gets really nice and hot in the, in the summertime and then radiates some of that heat out at night. This helps ripen your figs more quickly. And it makes me think of a friend's place where they had this dark colored, I think it was a slate patio. And I remember in the summertime walking on that in bare feet in the evening and it was hot, hot, hot. It had picked up so much heat from the sunlight during the day. And as soon as I did that, I thought, oh man, it would be great to grow figs right beside this patio. There's so much heat coming off of that. So think heat. And the final point that I'd like you to think about is extending the ripening window in the fall. Because what we find in cold climates is we're, we're getting to the time of that first fall frost and there's all sorts of unripe figs on our fig trees. Well, what we can do is just protect those fig trees so that after that cool weather has passed, we can put them out again and get a few more figs to ripen because invariably in the fall, you get a bit of cool weather, but it'll warm up again. And sometimes if you get a nice warm week or two, you can ripen a whole bunch more figs. So if you're dealing with potted figs, when I talk about extending that fall ripening window, it could be as simple as if there's a, a frost warning, put those potted figs in the garage for the night. But there's other things you can do too. Some people will put horticultural fleece over top of the plants, which is just like a, an insulating blanket. So think about extending the fall ripening window. I mean, the most elaborate thing that I've ever seen was what the owner called a figatorium. And this was like a greenhouse with permanent sides, but the roof was removable. So almost like a sports stadium with a retractable roof, except it was for figs. And what happened here was that the figs grew without the roof on all summer long. But then in the fall, when there was a need for uh, more heat to keep those figs ripening and to protect them from any frost, the roof went on and they had this warmer location within this figatorium was what it was called. And those figs would ripen. Now, of course, you don't have to build yourself a figatorium. I have a friend who just puts up a temporary hoop house over his figs in the fall. And that is enough to give him a whole extra week or two weeks of ripening. That's a lot of figs, so it can be very worthwhile. Those are seven things that you can do to help ripen more figs in a cold climate. You can pick one of them or even better, do a few of them together to help boost your fig yield. If you have more questions about figs, we have more videos coming up, but also drop by foodgardenlife.com. We have a whole section on figs with articles and interviews with experts. 
more tips and ideas about how to grow and harvest figs in cold climates, head over to foodgardenlife.com. There's a whole library of articles and interviews with experts and a free ebook all about growing figs in cold climates, foodgardenlife.com. Thank you.